Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Last night, I got out of the screening, well, I watched the screening of The Impossible, starring Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. Um, and basically, the story takes place... Sorry about that. The story takes place... Um, in 2004, there was a gigantic tsunami who, uh, who hit, or what hit? That hit? Yes. I'm, I can't talk today. This gigantic enormous tsunami that hit in 2004 and it was it was impossible to quote the movie this that was a terrible terrible thing that happened to these people and this film it surrounds one family in particular uh Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts they have three kids and what happens in this movie I think they're on vacation or something and when they're at the beach uh I mean obviously I'm not spoiling but what happens this huge wave, all these trees, they start piling down. It's just the, uh, the water is bashing through the houses. Everybody's like, what the heck is going on? Everybody's getting scared to death. You see people running. And then you see this uh, big wave coming. And Ewan McGregor, he's just like, oh, you know, everybody's running backwards. And all of a sudden, they all get covered in water. You can't see what happens. Because one of the angles they shoot in this movie is underneath the water, and it's all brown because of all the stuff in the water, all that garbage that uh, is in the water. Uh, people are just getting cut up, and their legs are getting cut up for stuff that's been in the water, and the houses, and the wires, and the pipes, and everything is just busting people up. People are dying. Then, finally, uh, we see uh, two uh, people in particular... Uh, Naomi Watson... No, blah, no, Naomi Watts's character and the little boy... Uh, the oldest of the three boys, um, Lucas, I think his name is, I'm almost positive, uh, they're together, and uh, they have to basically get out of the water, find their way to safety. She is practically ripped half to hell. I mean, the makeup in this movie, I don't know how they did it, but there's a scene in this movie when they're walking, and you look at her leg, not going to say what's on it, but there is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing that happened to her leg in this movie. And if you watched it and see it, you know what I'm talking about. And she gets banged up pretty bad. And then she just starts getting worse and worse and worse. And she's she's in uh, this place, I'm not going to say where it is, but she's just turning blue and black and all these different kind of colors. And uh, does the family survive? I'm not sure. You have to watch the movie and find out yourself. Uh, well, I, I do know, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. So, uh, do they survive? Do you want them to survive? I, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't tear up during movies, but in this one, tears, uh, not, you know, terrible tears, but it was just like, a, yeah. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like that, but tears were shed. Tears were shed in this motion picture, uh, it was just the movie itself is a great movie. I mean, I can't I can't get it to five out of five just because it's it's so you know the effects in this movie is hard to get through, and I couldn't I I can't get it to five because I did make it through the movie. I made it. I was emotionally involved, and I did make it through the movie. And I can't get it to five, so I'm gonna say four point six um, out of five stars for um, the impossible. Acting is great, and everything else is great. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, uh, I still have to review Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strat. Uh, Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back, and Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. I have to review the Kingdom Hearts Two video game. I have to review. I would like to do a review for the King's Speech and the Iron Lady. I'm not sure if I'm going to get reviews up for them anytime soon, but in the future, don't know when. But you will definitely see a review for the King's Speech and the Iron Lady uh, as requested from a friend. If you're watching this, you know who you are. And uh, I just want to say thank you and thank you everyone for the support um, on this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my review for The Impossible. Over and out.